your suman yadav yes sir suman uh, you are comfortable yes sir and uh, english is your preferred medium yes sir suman i can see that you are basically from haryana yes sir i can also see that you studied from uh, uh, a school in patadi which is in yes, haryana sir. also you did your bsc life sciences from sri venkateshwara college in university of delhi yes sir and uh, you did that in 2020 yes sir uh, you didn't pursue your masters no sir no uh, these are the few things which are mentioned in the dev is there anything you would like to know uh, to brief the board uh, yes sir my name is suman yadav i belong to haryana uh, i am preparing for upsc since 2020 and i like uh, to take care of animals i like to teach children and uh, i like drawing and doodling and i aspire to become a civil servant i can see that you have taken agriculture as your optional yes the sir. both botany and zoology were available uh, which you studied in uh, your life sciences yes sir so why uh, agriculture and not uh, botany and zoology sir i had studied botany and initially i was going with the botany but uh, when i studied agriculture uh, in my gs preparation i found it very interesting and relevant to the current situation that's why i went for agriculture since you've studied agriculture uh, as a discipline for civil services and also you're coming from haryana tell me do you believe that in our uh, necessity of, uh, of having adequate food sorry, I'm so sorry. Having this adequate uh, uh, food security, uh, we distorted our crop cycle. Especially your state, along with Punjab, are uh, guilty of it. Uh, do you believe it is a repairable uh, damage, or if the damage is already done, we will never be able to uh, retrieve what we lost? <laughs> Yes, sir. The green revolution uh, that in, uh, in Punjab and Haryana has helped India to become from a begging bowl to a bread basket, and it has ensured our food security. Uh, I believe that uh, now we should move for an evergreen revolution and focus on nutritional security. If we change our cropping pattern according to the climate, we can be a prosperous agriculture and uh, which would be resilient and productive in nature. but no matter what we do agriculture will continue to be a, 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 a have a very huge carbon footprint yes, it sir. is a, a activity which is environmentally very degrading uh, both in terms of water and other um, uh, in fact uh, to some extent even emissions but uh, uh, can agriculture be uh, environment friendly yes sir agriculture is said to be accused of climate change but is it is also a victim of climate change and if we change our approach if we go for resource use efficiency and bring technology like precision agriculture and uh, zero budget natural farming we can certainly make agriculture climate friendly but will that will it, it be at the cost of food security so we can ensure that uh, we go for both uh, we ensure that we use fertilizer and pesticides in an adequate amount of uh, in a rational measure and uh, also focus upon the organic farming which is an current trend uh, for the world you mentioned in terms of your uh, hobbies and interests that you like uh, motivating people you also mentioned that you are in this civil services preparation for quite a few years now yes sir do you believe that uh, in the name of motivating people in the name of motivational speakers now we have come along with people who have no accountability and have huge damage on the society especially in the era of social media yes sir uh, yes sir i i by my motivation i motivate children uh, in their academics as they perform poor or uh, in that manner but uh, as you said that the motivation uh, which is going on the social media it can have a uh, negative impact also we have seen the certain cases that has been turned out fraudulent so it is necessary to give a realistic view to the youth so that they can pursue their career what is your idea of realistic view 
about uh, having a second plan there is nothing like we will uh, ensure our success there is always ups and downs in life so we should move with our own courage and uh, focus uh, where our growth can happen for a minute to uh, consider a situation i am a 11 years old girl right and you have to motivate me i want to uh, i am saying that i don't want to study just marry me off as soon as possible please motivate me so firstly i will ask her what is her reason uh, that she is willing to marry and not going for this because studies? marriage is a big huge party we get good uh, food we get good uh, dresses and uh, we don't have to study sir i would say that it may be seeming very easy at this point but life is very long we have to Uh, become eleven realistic. year old. You're giving so much abstracts. I would make her understand the importance of education and would try That to. That is also abstract. Give me something concrete, as concrete as good food, as concrete as good dresses. Sir, I believe that while enjoying all her rights, it is her duty also to contribute duty to the society. Duty is also abstract. Eleven year old. Sir, all the privileges that she is availing. it is coming at a cost so with time she has to repay it and to become a better and a good citizen to the country she has to learn she has to contribute you believe you are motivating or demotivating me thank you sir thank you sir <coughs> uh, okay suman uh, carrying that little forward you think uh, india is ready for organic uh, agriculture sir india is pursuing both uh, uh, the chemical agriculture and organic agriculture organic agriculture have its own benefits as we can see that 1 billion uh, worth of agriculture exports are from the organic sector and it can also be increased to 10 billion and uh, it will ensure that our environment stays uh, protected and we develop climate resilience and it can also be helpful for the farmer it will eventually help to reduce the complexities that are involved in agriculture and uh, the cost of production you know what happened in sri lanka yes sir same thing may happen to us see so we are not going for complete organic agriculture uh, they uh, uh, since their uh, forex declined and uh, they decided that they won't be importing the fertilizers and uh, their abrupt strategy is majorly responsible for the economic crisis that they had but uh, we are focusing upon all uh, the measures for example uh, the recent scheme of pm pranam it focuses on conjunctive use of the chemical fertilizer bio fertilizers and organics so in that way we can ensure that we have maximum resource use efficiency and a positive impact on environment too uh, what is your view about a second green revolution the second green revolution that we need is the evergreen revolution uh, in the earlier one we focused upon the cereals and pulses but now i believe that the horticulture sector uh, the fishery sector the dairy sector and uh, the other branches of horticulture like the spices uh, the plantation all these have huge potential uh, so we should go for an evergreen uh, agriculture which is climate resilient and can ensure uh, the food security to the country and uh, ensure uh, the the prosperity of farmers too as a tall order green blue white everything combined <coughs> indradhanush okay <coughs> your second preference is indian police service yes sir recently we amended all the three criminal laws uh, what are the provisions that will help women sorry sir i am not able to recall okay any three positive developments that you can recall not necessarily pertaining to um sorry sir i am not able to recall okay this is your second preference sorry, sir. so you should go through the all the three laws 
is available on the net. Okay. <coughs> uh, this uh, women wrestlers issue. Yes, sir. Suppose you would have been IPS and DCP in charge. Yes, sir. How you would have handled it differently? So the recent issue of about the harassment that has been made yes. uh, is a concerning issue. I would ensure that they protest in a lawful manner and uh, they do not create a issue for the public. And also I would try to communicate their concerns to the higher authorities. Okay. So you are no different than the or the DCP who actually handled it. What about the delay in filing the FIR? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, the, they have raised that uh, uh, they cannot uh, bring out the names of those who has been uh, victimized and uh, there are issues in uh, filing FIR due to which we are not able to come at a consensus. So you justify the delay in registering the FIR? No, sir. I, say, I believe that uh, whoever uh, has been uh, victimized should come out. The law is here to protect them and uh, justice will be done to them. Okay. My last question. Uh, you are uh, involved with street animals, yes, sir. including st st street dogs. Yes, sir. Uh, suppose you feed and give shelter to street dogs. One of them bites a passerby. Will you be responsible? Sir, largely I would consider it my responsibility because I personally take care of two dogs and I have vaccinated them and uh, I have. No, I am not talking of the okay. pet dogs. No, no, the, sir, these are not the pet dogs. Okay, stray dogs. Yes, sir. Okay. So yes, sir. Uh, being a feeder and uh, animal lover, it is my responsibility to ensure that they are vaccinated and uh, their behavior is friendly to other people also. As per law, now you are liable. So, okay, Suman, uh, you studied in Patodi. Uh, sir, I stay in Gurugram, uh, but um, in my class tenth, my school was affiliated to a school in Patodi. And in uh, 11th class, I gave a scholarship test, which I passed, then I get admitted to school of Patodi. So it's, uh, what's the distance? You live in Palambihar, right? Yes, sir. And Palambihar, Patodi is how far? It's about 20 kilometers Yes, more? sir. It's uh, about 25 kilometers. So you used to commute or it's a yes, boarding sir. commute every day, a school bus? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Now, you uh, know the difference in the word India and Bharat? Yes, sir. Can you tell me what is the difference? Uh, sir, Bharat is the traditional identity of India. Uh, and uh, the word India has arised uh, with uh, the colonial legacy. But now I believe that it has become a new technology identity of India. So we should go with both India, that is Bharat. Yeah, that is uh, Article 1 of Constitution, yes, right? Sir. Uh, how effective is the United Nations system now? What do you think? Uh, sir, I believe that United system uh, is somehow losing its credibility to ensure the peace uh, and uh, prosperity within the world. Uh, it has somehow failed to stop uh, the Russia-Ukraine war and uh, the recent Israel crisis. So, I believe that there is a need of reform within that. Alright, so reform is definitely needed as long as we don't know what exactly is needed in the reform. But India wants to join United Nations Security Council. Yes, sir. What is the meaning of India's desire to join an organization which you are describing is not effective, no more effective? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, India is a vibrant democracy. And uh, firstly, it is uh, uh, having 1.4 billion of the population. So it should have its uh, rightful uh, representation there. And uh, uh, we also have the, uh, in the past events, uh, in the non-permanent ship membership, we also had the support of majority of the nations. And uh, thirdly, is uh, out of the uh, permanent five, 
four are in our support uh, except China that are willing that India should be a part. I personally believe that India can play a part as bridge diplomacy and can be a Vishwa Mitra to the world. Well, that is good, uh, but I was basically asking to know whether there is any meaning for India to join in an organization which has become ineffective, as you described Russia, Ukraine, Israel, Gaza. I mean, what is the meaning? What We join an organization, it has already become ineffective. Will there be some purpose served? Yes, sir. Uh, it is not about just India's representation there, but also the other continent's representation, uh, reducing their veto power. Uh, we need holistic reforms within the whole UN system, which we, we can make it effective. All right. Very good. Well done. Uh, Suman, uh, what life sciences did you study? Sir, uh, it is a sub subject uh, which involves different disciplines and it is basically the study of life and uh, its engagement uh, with uh, the environment. It involves uh, the biochemistry, uh, <coughs> genetics, zoology, botany. Biochemistry, second one? Uh, genetics. Genetics. Uh, zoology, botany and ex external uh, extra disciplines. So, uh, like you have studied biochemistry. So, can you describe the process of uh, glycolysis and gly gluconeogenesis? What is the difference between these two processes? So, the first term is glycolysis Lysis. and the second is? Gluconeogenesis. Sir, I am aware of the first term. You are not aware of second term at all? Uh, after doing biochemistry? Sir, I am not able to recall. So, okay, you are not able to recall. But uh, just tell me what is glycolysis? Uh, sir, it's uh, the uh, process of uh, uh, formation of uh, uh, within the uh, process of uh, the development of. Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, can when, I whenever it? there is a lysis, what is the meaning of lysis? It's breakdown. Breakdown. So it cannot be making something. It has to be breakdown. Yes, One sir. thing should be sure. Yes, sir. And first word is glyco. Yes, sir. It's so the breakdown of glucose. Uh, it is the breakdown of glycogen. Okay. Okay, uh, actually, next, next question uh, comes on like zoology, you have studied zoology. Yes, sir. Okay, so on zoology, just describe the differences between the elementary canal of a human being and elementary canal of uh, uh, a reptile. Sorry, sir, I am not aware. You are not aware of the elementary Sorry, canal? Sir. Okay. Okay, then let, let us leave the life sciences. We come to the current affairs. Uh, well, what is your take on this Manipur agitation going on uh, for last seven, eight months? What do you know in very brief two lines and what is your solution and why we are not able to reach a solution for so long? Yes, sir. So the Manipur violence is uh, the ethnic conflict between the two major tribes that is Kuki and Miti. Uh, af after the court uh, allowed it, Miti to be uh, considered as scheduled tribe, uh, they got the land rights in the hills. Court has allowed already them? No, or just sorry. Uh, it says that they deserve the right uh, in okay. the hills uh, due to which the agitation come. And uh, currently I am aware that th the order has been taken back. So while uh, drafting, while replying, you must always come with the correct word, whether the court allowed, court recommended, what is? Yes, sir. Okay, then continue. Uh, we could not come uh, to the consensus uh, because uh, of uh, the difference between the two tribes and they have some genuine concerns as uh, the Miti cons uh, consists of 60% of the population and uh, they live in 20% of the land due to which uh, I believe that they re deserve uh, to have land rights in the hills. Land rights in the hills are not allowed to Metis, you mean to say? Sir, they are not allowed it to uh, buy land there. Okay. So, so w w why we are not able to reach the solution? That was my second part and last question. Then uh, I will request the next panelist to take over just after your reply. 
sir there is lack of consensus between the two communities and there is huge violence uh, i believe uh, the intervention uh, from the but the state is not with any of the parties state is independent so why state is not able to act like a uh, judicial way in a judicial way that to take both them together why Sorry, sir, I am not aware. Okay, please. Sir. Suman, you have given your uh, hobby as a slok chanting, shloka yes. chanting, and you also have a uh, hobby of teaching and motivating children. Yes, sir. Can you recite one shloka which is relevant for motivating the children? Children? Yes, sir. Hmm. Hariyo. श्री गुरुभ्यो नम भगवदगीता श्लोक एहतान हंसा नोपी मधुसूदन अभी त्रैलोक्यराज से हेतु किमी Sir, it means that uh, success needs sacrifices. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to decide about what is needed rather than what we want. So it is necessary that we decide what is our path and stick to it. We develop self-control and self-discipline. There would be uh, tack, uh, disruptions and there would be uh, distractions in our mind, but we have to stay consistent to our goal. Uh, was it uh, effective on the children? Well, you never tried it. Yes. You had it for your this loka, which yes. is relevant for this uh, purpose. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, just a simple in Ramchandra Manas, there is a slok starting from Sanskrit. Any idea? Sir, I can. Uh, do you have idea that all Ramchandra Manas can't are preceded by the Sanskrit slokas? Sorry. Okay, sir. solid. Okay. Now coming to the. Agriculture sector. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, before the World Trade Organization, the MC thirteen meeting, ministers' conference. What are the issues that so far the agriculture is concerned? Sir, the issue regarding the Bali package and the mm. de minimis rule mm. uh, is still not resolved. Mm. Uh, government, uh, our Haryana, uh, sorry, our government of India has said that uh, the green uh, box subsidies that are being mm. provided, they mm. are discriminatory to mm. the developing countries, mm. and uh, the uh, parameter of 1980s mm. is discriminatory. We need to change it, mm. and also uh, uh, regarding. Uh, regarding uh, the subsidies that are being provided for the fishery sector mm -hmm. which are also uh, uh, having a negative impact upon uh, the fishermen community and they are depleting the maritime resources what is the impact of uh, india's stand on the indian politics domestic politics domestic economic environment yes sir sir uh, at the domestic level uh, there are demands for the withdrawal from wto and uh, 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 a question was also raised by thailand uh, mm. regarding uh, the the government uh, having mm. a disruptive export policy that it is exporting 40% of its uh, rice uh, from subsidized uh, uh, what it claims that it is for the distribution but they are actually yes. exporting those rice to the yes, uh, other countries uh, that is india i mean that is what so they, they do you consider that india's objection or protest which led to the withdrawal i mean calling back of the thailand uh, ministry A spokesperson at the WT is a growing influence of India in the world politics. Yes, sir. At the World Forum. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, India is uh, maintaining its national interest and mm. uh, uh, it's spoken about itself and the interest of the larger uh, developing countries' interests. What percentage of agriculture constitutes the GDP of India? Sir, it's 18 percent of our GDP. And if it is increased to 30 percent, then what will happen? Sir, it can be beneficial. We mm. will see diversification. We will see uh, the improvement in uh, the in in the uh, status of uh, farmers. Even if it is at the cost of other sectors. Sir, I believe that the growth in agriculture sector will eventually help the secondary and the tertiary sector to grow, as there would be interconnectivity between all three sectors. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, like uh, the raw material. Can you give any example of such? Yes, increase sir. in productivity sir uh, within these three sectors mm -hmm. yes sir for example uh, agriculture sector is the base 
of the mm. secondary and the tertiary sector. Mm. Uh, it can uh, produce the raw materials. Mm. Uh, the processing will happen at the manufacturing sector and all uh, the information, the market intelligence would be controlled by the tertiary sector. So in this way, uh, all three sectors can prosper. Okay. Do you think that the digitization of land records will increase the agricultural productivity? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, How? Uh, uh, as we will have uh, conclusive land titles mm -hmm. and uh, uh, reduce the influence of uh, the mafias uh, uh, that holds the land, more uh, land could be made productive, could be brought into the agriculture and uh, productivity and production can also be increased and there would be uh, land... Kind of land holding will be easily deciphered, I mean that will, that will help in policy making, concentrating on the small and marginal farmers. Mafia is all right. That's the, that's the title suit. That, that, but that is how the politic, it will impact the productivity. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Fine, uh, Suman. Uh, I think it was nice uh, talking to you. Your interview is over. You're requested to please wait for a feedback session. Thank you, sir. Suman, when is your interview? Sir, it's 19th of March. 19th of March. So it's not very far. Uh, you are happy with your performance today? No. no. What are the areas you believe that uh, you could have done better? Sir, in the life sciences, uh, on the criminal law bills. Right. It is yes. true that uh, uh, since it IPS is there in your services choices and even otherwise, it's a current affair thing, so uh, uh, it makes sense that you prepare these three laws. Uh, but uh, what else in terms of communication you are happy with your performance or there are areas you would like to do better? Sir, I need to improve my communication skills. I take a lot of breaks and not able to formulate the answers. See uh, structure of answer is uh, one area that you can definitely work. See Suman, you need to understand you are a very very good candidate. Uh, you carry a certain background and that suggests that uh, uh, you have worked really hard to reach this level. Right? It, it is visible and board will be able to see through it uh, right in the beginning. So they will be interested in having a conversation with you. Also the, you have many many points which uh, uh, the board uh, uh, will have lot to ask, lot to talk about right and you need, so in other words what I am saying is that uh, from the word go you have their attention and do not take, take it as a small benefit, it is a big benefit when it comes to interview at the UPSC because it is true that it is for you it is once in lifetime opportunity but for them you are just another candidate yes. right so if you are getting a that beginning in which you are getting their attention to begin with that's a great starting point you should capitalize on this right yes, and uh, if you talk about today's interview uh, the interview that took place and the discussion that followed uh, among the member on the basis of that uh, uh, as I said, you are a good candidate, but technically speaking, your walk-in is good. Will you be wearing the same sari? No, sir. I am changing. But you will be wearing a sari? Yes, sir. Okay. So, overall, uh, your appearance is good. You carry a pleasant personality. In general, your walk-in is good. Sitting posture is good, except that you have this tendency of hand clasping. Okay. You, uh, um, yes, like this. Uh, I don't know whether I don't know whether you have some spiritual reason to do, no, do so. Sir, no. If not, then I will advise not to do it, because well, in general, it means that the person is nervous, okay. right? In general, it means um, uh, no, uh, the basic body language suggests that if somebody is clasping the hand, it means that he or she is uh, nervous, right? So placing your hand like this is perfect. You can have a little movement. Don't don't worry about. It. The thumb rule is that you should appear relaxed while having conversation. You should not appear to be very stiff bodied when you are having conversation, which also shows the tension thing. Right, uh, but otherwise uh, your voice level is good. Uh, in general, words are coming to you. So I don't know why you said that you need to be more fluent. In general, uh, uh, there are, I I don't uh, recall a situation where you were uh, still looking for words. Right, overall it was okay. Uh, hand movement I just mentioned. Eye contact is also good. Uh, flow is okay. At places it can be a little better, but overall it's okay. Uh, coming to the content part. We observed and all of us agree on this that you have certain comfort zone in your conversation, right? There are certain areas, certain content um, points where you are happy discussing. 
and you are you are at home we are discussing be it agriculture be it a few other places but there are other places where it appears you suddenly become stiff bodied and um, you are not very comfortable for anybody obviously there will be certain area which uh, one has studied more than others but make sure this is this contrast is not that visible yes. it should appear that you uh, there uh, you have this challenge of balance of uh, acquisition when it comes to knowledge it should appear it should appear that okay there are areas you are more comfortable but overall also uh, you have interest in uh, things right so that you can probably whatever time you have you can brush up i'm not saying dive deep okay. but at least brush up a uh, few things on the surface that will be uh, in your favor overall there are few areas we could not discuss at all right so the, uh, you have to work on you are coming from ncr reason make sure that you have and you studied from delhi so you please prepare delhi well okay sir. also prepare the ncr in general okay, also um, gender issues are always important for uh, from the women candidate do prepare both in terms of agriculture and even otherwise right yes, sir. so gender issues should you should be thorough about so these are few areas that you can work on but overall our impression is that you are a very very good candidate you are a promising candidate and uh, uh, maybe a little bit brush up here and there and you should do wonders right thank you sir all the best thank you sir thank you sir